Well, like as you know, in anything that's a trade, somebody buys on the other side. So who's buying gold and silver? You know, I just got this in the mail today. It's called uh, Media Cash Exclusive Gold Coins and Silver Buying Event. Now buying diamonds, buying everything. This is right local to me. Tuesday to Saturday, April 16th to April 20th. So these people, you know, smiling people in suits, are going to give up fiat, their hard-earned cash to buy your silver and gold. Why? <laughs> That's all I have to say. Because uh, the drama queens are thinking of freaking floors falling out or wrong. But actually, when it springs back, it's going to spring back hard. Actually, Mark Farber is actually telling you the truth. He expected at one point in time that gold was going to possibly go below 1500 It sounds a little too crazy to me, but it, it, it actually now it's, it's below 1500 It's below 26 on the silver. I know, like, uh, bar none was talking and failed to break through 26 but I says, you know, I was thinking it's it would bounce at 26 but I don't know, you know, it's going to probably, in my mind, it's probably going to take some time, even more, before it really starts moving up. But if you're a bottom fisher, and you're like totally out of the game, and you're thinking it's going to go down to $1,000 an ounce, palladium's going to go to $350 an ounce, and, and silver's going to go to $15 an ounce, you're an idiot. It's, you're just as stupid as the people that actually say it's going to go to, like, astronomical heights. And, you know, I can make calculations, like I, I joked, which was uh, $50,000 an ounce for silver. Because if you act, I mean, gold, the reason you could say that is if you said, well, if you're going to trade oil and gold, all you take all the gold produced in a year, and you take all the oil and it produced in a year, and you're going to trade oil and gold, well, that's what it would have to be. You taking the volume of oil that comes out of the earth and how much gold comes out of the earth. That's how much gold would have to be just to trade oil. If you're going to use that, if you got away from total fiat money supply or any other type of money. If you just use gold. So that's why you can't just use gold. But realistically, probably gold is going to go to about, I don't know, five to $7,000 an ounce or something like that. Silver's probably going to go to a couple hundred bucks an ounce at the height a few years from now or so by 2017 but this is the this was the this is actually taking a lot longer correction period than people think but um, you know if you're bottom fishing you know I mean the same people that bottom fish they freaking said you know silver was going to be 50 bucks in December or whatever I don't know but as far as uh, you know who's buying Definitely, it's uh, Florida Gold Exchange. Yeah, they're they're down here in uh, Palm Coast, Florida. You know, it's got a PO box, and this is, you know, the typical. There's a reason why they're buying it because they know it's going to go up. So they got their people out; they want it. It's just what Goldman Sachs is doing. And that's exactly what the uh, central banks are doing. They're buying it. So, you know, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme right away. But if you're bottom fishing, you're looking for crazy numbers like, you know, you're never going to buy it until it gets down to, you're not going to buy silver till it gets to 15, you're not going to buy palladium till it gets to 350, you're not going to buy gold till it goes below 1,000. Don't hold your breath, man. Don't hold your breath. That's the way it goes. Because actually people who get psyched out about this stuff and they're like flipping your mind every freaking two seconds and thinking it's going up, it's going down. They should never be in it in the first place. And they don't know what the hell they're doing. I I actually make money on it. I don't actually pick, like I said, I don't actually pick the bottoms. But I hold on long enough where when I sell, it's a game. Who the hell actually picks the exact bottom of something? Jim Rogers? No, he says he's a terrible market timer. But he doesn't, you know, that's just how it works. So... But, you know, there's a lot. I've seen, I'm going to tell you one thing. I've seen a Christian right. They're the most biggest devils going. 
because I'm seeing like there's bears and there's bulls that are Christians and both of them I see is freaking flat out wrong you know the Lindsey Williams and the other people out there that are very bearish on uh, metals and hold on to toilet paper forever they're just as bad one's just as bad as the other they're both extremists but if you got the patience to hold on do it do it that's why I kept telling people don't invest all your money in silver and gold you gotta have sufficient cash reserves which I know I do I know I do so and it's like I'm a, you know people be telling me why don't you put all your money into silver because I don't I got a significant amount into it that's what I do but just a fact little common sense immediate cash right now cash you know I got this today so they're buying April 16th to April 20th 2013 they're going to be right in my area buying. Why? Why? Why are they buying? It tells you something right there. So, and also when it goes up really, really high, I'm not talking like, you know, the crazy numbers like Bix Weir says or anything, but when it goes up really, really high, you're going to be afraid to sell because the toilet paper is actually going to be thinking fiat cash is worth nothing. That's not what you want to do. You want to sell it. You want to sell it. So, but I'll tell you the truth, man. You got to freaking stay cool with this stuff because I noticed there's a lot of emotions out there. And, uh, I, you know, I get it from uh, usually Christians. They're bad news. They're bad news. Loads of them around. And, uh, They'll never steer you wrong, will they? Yeah, they will. Definitely. Definitely.